Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are here at Sick Week 2024. We're, today we're in Gainesville, Florida. I'm joined by Matt Moore. Behind us here is his turbocharged 388 LS, and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Matt, thanks so much yeah. for giving us a little time today. Of course, yeah. yeah. It's uh, already been an eventful day three here in Gainesville, and you just went down and made a, a nice pass yep. and uh, getting ready to hit the road oh, to yeah. uh, South Georgia now. Yeah. Uh, but glad we got a couple minutes to yeah. chat with you about your car and, and the LS here. Yep. So if you could, you know, Walk us through the build. Walk us through kind of how long you've had the car and what's all in it. So we built the car coming up on two and a half years ago. Uh, so if you don't know more race chassis, we do in-house builds and we do cage kits and installs like that. Um, we have a whole online place, you know, the website. Yeah. You can put it, you can, you know, we got Fox Body S10, all kinds of different cage kits. So this car was the first rendition of like our welded chassis. So we'll build the chassis, put it on pallet, ship it out to you. You just slide your Fox body shell over it and then you're pretty much ready. You know, you kind of skip the chassis JL portion of it. So, um, but like I said, two years ago, we put it together, just kind of build the cage of it. And it took, I think a year and a half to build. Um, it started out as a, as a uh, stock bottom end LS, like every turbo car does and uh, kind of learn the chassis, get it, get it going. We went, I think 499 with that setup and had some motor problems that turned out to be more electrical gremlins and trans gremlins that we figured out. Um, but eventually worked into last year, we went to a dark block 388 LS. Um, it was cathedral port. So it was a, a Holly low Ram with a uh, Brodix uh, BR1 head. And then this winter, kind of changed up a little bit, trying to get a little bit more air through it. Um, Cathedral worked well, it was just not where we want to be. Yeah. So I went to a BR7, um, GPI did the heads, okay. um, and then we were pretty good uh, buddies with all the guys at BTR. So they got us the, this is the new Trinity uh, LS7 dual injector. Nice. Um, that's actually Brian Tooley's personal lower rails. Oh, nice. They didn't have those ones completely done yet. So they gave me the, you know, the plenum and then the, the bottom uh, cool. runners that's are from cool. his. So. Um, went to that and then it's a BTR GT uh, 5598 okay. turbo. Yeah, yeah, pretty good sized turbo it's, out front. It's a pretty yeah. basic set, like, you know, it, it doesn't take a lot to go as long as you get the chassis for it, part, you know, kind of figured out. And that's what we, we wanted to figure that out first was get the chassis, start with less power and then step up into something a little bit better. Right, so. right. So Matt, you're talking about changing the cylinder heads and, and some of the other stuff that goes with that. Yep. How about some of the internals uh, that you got? You got so in the it's LS? a Dart uh, billet crank. It's you know not their high. It's not you know it's not a high dollar crank. Uh, MGP aluminum rods and Corello CP Corello uh, pistons. So it's still a four one twenty five bore, and so it's pretty basic. Yeah. yeah. And then how about some of the valve train parts that you got in there? Uh, it's got a Comp BSR uh, rocker system, and then. Um, GPI did the whole the spring setup and got that all ready to go. So basically, when I got it from them, which is only like three weeks ago, we were kind of scrambling for heads. But they got they had some actually in stock. So shout out to them for getting us yeah. that. <laughs> so now, correct me if I'm wrong. You said a 98 millimeter yep. turbo. Yep. Uh, about how much boost are you guys running when you're out there on the track? So on the Cathedral Port, we we're like 43. Um, today we're at like 32 pounds. So we're close to what our 30. Our 43 was, yeah. and now we're making about 33, 35. Okay. So the, we went four 80s at the first track, and that was only on like 28 pounds. So it's, yeah. the flow is there now. Right. Yeah. yeah. So now yeah. we just got to put the 60 foot together and. Very cool. Yep. All right, now you're running in the, the rowdy radial uh, eighth mile class. Yep. Uh, and you're, you're saying you're in the 490s, that's about what you're getting? Yeah, so last year we were 490s. Okay. This year um, we've been four, yeah, we went 480 the first pass, went 471. 
the last pass. So we have a 471 yesterday too. So I'm selling your short. I apologize. <laughs> no, you're yeah. good. No, the eighth mile stuff's a little different, but our local tracks, that's all we run. So it's easy, yeah. you know, just kind of yeah. get that going. But it went 114, 60 foot that pass out on a 235, which is eight and a half inches wide. So yeah. tiny tire. Now I'm looking at the stickers on your car. Obviously yep. you've done drag week, <laughs> Rocky Mountain race week. Uh, is this your first sick week though? Have you no, done we came week? last year. Okay. Yeah, but actually that's, this motor was what we ran last year. So it's been in the car for about a full year now. Yeah. It's got 70 passes on it, probably a little bit more now and a little over 3,000 street miles. Yeah, yeah. So. so you know what this is all about and you, you, uh, oh, yeah. you love the street drives and you love going down the track. Yeah, so. we, we wanted to finish the first few events we did like Rocky Mountain Race. So you want to finish the event just to get the experience. Well now, now we're leading the class and you, <laughs> you want to win now. Yeah. It's not enough just to finish, so. Yeah, and you were telling me before the camera started rolling that you are up there at the top of your class. Yep, and yep. Uh, you know, that 471 that you just, just ran should keep second place at bay it should, yes. for another day here. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. congrats on that. Yep. Um, Matt, anything else about the car or the LS that we're leaving out? Um, about how much horsepower are you getting out of this? Thing? I think we're probably right about 14, 1500, okay. about that area. Yeah. So it, I think we could get up to 1800 or so. I think it's just gonna take some fine tuning. We just didn't have a ton of time. We had no testing on this combo. It got off jack stands the third day before and we came down and tested one day before and we're here today. So. Yeah. Very cool. Well, Matt, really yeah. appreciate the time. Yeah. Thanks for walking us through oh, yeah. the car and the, the LS engine here. Yeah, I appreciate it. And I'm sorry, uh, tell the folks uh, where they can find your shop. Uh, More Race Chassis. We're in St. Louis. You can find us at moreracechassis.com or on Facebook. We have a pretty good following on there, so easy to find and check us out. Guys, make sure you're doing that. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. We appreciate you watching this episode of Engine of the Week. We'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on enginebuildermag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through enginebuildermag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on enginebuildermag.com. Thanks.